Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem. So here we have this is a nice right triangle in which the length of its sides are b, b square and b cubed and we solve this triangle for the values of b. So here first you remember that this triangle is not correct according to the scale. Uh, so uh, please ignore, ignore this step so that now here uh, we solve this problem for the values of p uh, and and you very well know about in a right triangle uh, the side opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse and uh, here you have this is any other angle uh, and the side we join these two angles is called the base of this triangle and this side is called the perpendicular side or altitude side of this triangle so here uh, in order to find the values of b we need to apply here the nice pythagoras theorem so uh, here first we state the pythagoras theorem as uh, you know about pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square this is called the pythagoras theorem and here we substitute the values of b p and h the value of our h is b cubed we substitute it here it will becomes b cubed and its whole square equals to our base is b square so this is b square and its whole square plus perpendicular is b square only okay so now here we need to apply the exponent law and you know that uh, if you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law we will multiply these two exponents and it will be written as b to the power of 6 because 3 to the 6 and here we have b to the power of 2 to the 4 and plus this is b square and now here further in the next step we move these two values in the left hand side and here we have b to the power of 6 minus uh, we move b to the power of 4 it will becomes minus b to the power of 4 this is uh, plus b square becomes minus b square and this whole equation equals to 0. So further in the next step you see here in each of these values we have b square be the common term so we take common b square and we get the remaining values are here we obtain b to the power of 4 minus here we obtain b square minus here we obtain 1 only and this is equals to 0. So when uh, here we take two cases we uh, take b square equals to 0 and here we take b to the power of 4 minus b square minus 1 equals to 0. So if you see on b square so uh, you see that b square is our base of this right triangle and we know that in a right triangle a not of any side length of triangle equals to 0 but this shows that the base of above triangle is zero but it is not possible uh, so that we rejected this case okay because base is not equals to zero so now here in order to find the other values of b we need to solve this equation so in order to solve this equation first we can write uh, uh, rewrite this equation as we have this is b to the power of four we write it as b square and its whole square minus this is b square minus 1 equals to 0. So here we take uh, x is equals to b square so when you put this value of x here it will be written as x square minus x minus 1 equals to 0. So this equation will become quadratic equation in x variable so that here uh, we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 1 and we state the quadratic formula as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now here we substitute the values of a, b and c here and it will be written as. 
so we have uh, this is minus b the value of b is minus 1 and this will becomes minus times of minus becomes plus and we put this value here it will becomes plus 1 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a and the value of a is also equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need uh, some simplifications here and we obtain our x is equals to this is 1 plus minus uh, square root of this is minus 1 square and minus 1 square equals to plus 1 and here you have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 and 2 times of 1 equals to 2 so uh, here uh, we need uh, more simplifications here and it will be written as x is equals to 1 plus minus uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 and now we again divide this uh, into the two cases the first case is we write the positive value it is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 here we write the negative value it is 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so we back substitute the values of x <clears throat> and here in we, we will take uh, x is equals to b square it will becomes b square equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and from here we have b square equals to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so uh, here you again see that uh, our b square be the base of this right triangle okay so uh, this expression gives us the negative value it means that the base is negative the base of our given triangle is negative but it is not possible uh, any side length of a triangle is negative because uh, the side length are distance and distance is always positive it is not possible our base is negative so that uh, we uh, again uh, rejected this case uh, and we have only one case so uh, we can just solve here this case only and in this case in order to find the value of b we need to take the square root on both of the sides so when we take square root it will be written as 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and its whole square root here i cannot uh, write the plus minus sign because of b be the side length of the triangle and it cannot be negative so here we just choose the positive value so this is the final value of b in this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos